think I got far off track from the Camino. <laughs> I think I see an arrow all the way down there because I am wandering up around some rocks <laughs> with no obvious way to go. Oh man, I think I have to climb back down. <laughs> so this is sometimes what happens when I'm trying to get ahead of some of the others from the albergue. So it is a beautiful morning and I really want to walk alone and really enjoy this. And I climbed up, up, up <laughs> and totally went the wrong way. I think I'm supposed to be on that path down there. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Just have to laugh at myself. I get so excited. <laughs> I'm like, head for the mountains. Okay, but I gotta get back on the right path. It was an arrow I saw from all the way up there. Okay, <laughs> now I'm on the right path. I was climbing up around those rocks. <laughs> Not the right way to go. Oh, I think I just kind of, I saw a sign, but I wasn't paying attention to the direction it was taking me in. So all right, now we're back on track. So I decided to, rather than do a 30 kilometer siege today, and that had been my original plan. Um, there's an albergue that has gotten such glowing reviews. So that albergue is in about 30 kilometers. Um, I was gonna do that all in one day, but these stages are going through the mountain and they're the most beautiful, maybe the most beautiful of any Camino I've ever walked. Um, I decided to split it into two 15 kilometer stages. And so it's gonna be short. Um, it's not, I'm already breathing kind of heavy. We're not even going uphill all that much, but um, this stage in particular is gonna be more challenging, but I think I'm happy with the decision. So I'm gonna do this in Salvador in six days. Last time I did it in five and I have plenty of time and the weather is beautiful. And I think, I think it's gonna be good to just like really try to take my time and enjoy and you know i know i love walking long stages but i have time for the long stages later <laughs> so we're gonna do a couple of shorter stages right now i'm gonna assume those are more wolf statues <laughs> looks like there's a wolf standing up there <laughs> it caught me by surprise again not a real wolf but it sure looks like one just a statue oh but perfectly placed What do all these arrows mean? I think maybe it means I cross through here. Yeah, lots of arrows.
I'm gonna go down and visit that church. Hopefully it'll be open. These cows are following me. I didn't realize. <laughs> All right, cows, I'm going. into Astorius when you see this kind of Camino marker. This is a really steep descent down and I don't know that there's any like exact way to go but if you look carefully you will see some arrows and ultimately I do think you want to head down to the left when you get to the bottom because all the way down there there's a gate with some arrows that we're gonna go through to cross the road. I think this is one of my all-time favorite spots on any Camino. I've got a couple of them and this section right here is for sure one of them. Oh, look at these views. Look at these views. When I walked this before, the skies were clear and I could see the top of the mountains, but there was clouds kind of lower in the valley and uh, both the views last time and this time are just so stunning. So this is a little junction. If you are staying in Bajares, you want to follow the arrow that goes straight ahead and that's where I'm going to be going so I'm going to be going this way but if you are not staying in Pajares then you want to go down towards San Miguel and it would be the path down over here so there's another Camino marker here that will kind of let you know that you have a couple of choices So there were six others in the albergue last night. It was me and five men, which is not the most ideal. I mean, I didn't mind. It's really not a huge deal at all, but I always like it when there's another girl or woman there. But anyway, there were six of us in the albergue and then there was a Casa Rural um, right near the albergue and there were at least, I think, four other pilgrims staying there. So. 
by my count, there were at least 10 that were on the stage yesterday. Now, I don't know where everyone is going tonight. I know a few others for sure are going to the albergue in the Pajares. But despite there being other pilgrims out here, um, I saw a couple this morning. Um, and then also another couple back up where I took a break and got some coffee. But for the most part, and especially right now, since my coffee break, I haven't seen anyone. So that is kind of the nice thing about this Camino, even if it is full by San Salvador standards. And I do think full is probably about like a dozen pilgrims. Um, when you walk, it's really, it's really a very quiet, peaceful Camino. Here is the town of Pajares, just arriving now, and it's actually already one o'clock. So for a day that was kind of only 15 kilometers, I really took my time. I stopped for a long coffee break. And also, you know, with the elevation changes, there's a lot of ascending and descending. Um, it's just gonna take you longer anyway. So I think for how beautiful this stage was, um, I would really recommend, recommend the quote unquote shorter stage of 15 kilometers. I think it's perfect. There's a vending machine in this El Reggae. Oh, for coffee in the morning and snacks. There's Aquarius and a Twix bar. It's very exciting. Here's the bunk room and the view from the window. Got my vending machine beer, the chips I've been carrying for a couple days, and I found a little book on Leon. It's just so I can remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what I ate. No, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> well done. Woohoo! <laughs> 